this uh, little attic vent turbine is having some problem. Let's see how fast this one is running. In high wind, this one also makes some weird rattling noise. So it's time to have it replaced. All right, I just came back from uh, Home Depot. They only sell the complete unit. They don't sell any repair kit, whatever. Um, so I'm just gonna go over the easy way and take this and replace it. I watch a few video on, uh, I think it's probably pretty easy. And you know, I'm gonna try myself. I never did this before, by the way. So, um, but this is an old house. Um, let's give it a shot. Looks pretty straightforward. I don't think I need the base. Uh, I was told I should say I only need this piece. Guess I'm just have to uh, climb up there and take a look. All right, guys. Unfortunately, my GoPro decided to uh, not cooperating, and the audio just crapped out on me. So. I will have to navigate from here. Um, so removing the old turbine itself is pretty simple. It's held on with free screw. So just unscrew it. You can uh, just have it popped out. Uh, but immediately, I uh, actually at the time I tried to remove, I noticed that the mounting between the two is just totally different. Maybe the model or brand is just not the same, but as you can see, it's not a direct fit. So. I was hoping a five minutes project is definitely not going to be possible. So um, the next step I can do is really just have to remove the whole, this, uh, what are we going to call it, this tube, this barrel thing. Um, it's also hold on with free screw. So uh, I jump back down to uh, the garage, uh, take a look at the thing. I don't know there's a dent there, but probably no big deal. Uh, so. Well, that's to be the strategy. At this point, I have to uh, take this up and uh, to try to replace the whole thing to match the mounting. Uh, things to mention here, uh, I decided not to remove even the base and just replace the whole thing because um, this roof is kind of old. Um, uh, the owner actually planning to replace the roof in uh, in a year or two, so and I don't want to start taking apart the, uh, the, the old shingle because I could easily open up another can of warm that I, want, I don't want to deal with. So I'm just going to decide that I'm just going to change this. Well, hopefully we're done. So after you remove the three screws that are holding on to it, you can just pop that out. Um, now that's the part that is getting very interesting now. Uh, it fit pretty well actually by the way um, this new barrel I can just put it up but um, the process to make it level is just I'm totally unprepared uh, it took a good 20 something minutes for me to play around and uh, turn around using the level to check and check and check again a lot of patience to get it done. I, I really don't have a good way. Uh, I, I bought first and then I just play with it a little bit of time and eventually uh, I got it after about 20 minutes. Yes. Uh, you check and check again. Make sure that's the level. Look at it. And then you check, cross check that in the other direction. It's all good. So um, that's the. I was totally released uh, because it's. I just not expected this part. Uh, the kit come with a, a cleave to uh, lock down once you uh, set the thing to level. So um, that's what I'm doing there. Uh, constantly go back to check because you really have to get it to level. Otherwise, uh, it will make real noise uh, when it's spinning, when the turbine is spinning, or and actually gonna reduce the lifespan of the turbine too. So uh, this part is just you cannot skip it. And after that, clip is uh, in place, so I know the angle is all right, and I'll start to uh, 
lock down this barrel down to the base. Uh, fortunately, they have a lot of holes that pre-drill. I have prepared the drill, and uh, actually, just in case it, the, one of the holes is not matching it, I uh, will have to uh, drill a new hole. And that is my plan. But it turned out to be good. Uh, uh, they have a lot of pre-drill hole, and you know, three of them just match. So I successfully put it in. Now with that in place, uh, yeah, you see I'm constantly checking the to make sure all is good and level. All right, so with that as check and fix, uh, just have to put the new turbine on. Uh, the mounting should fit most of the time. Uh, actually, just free screw again uh, to mount it, the, the turbine down. Uh, I can tell you, actually, uh, remember it's the first two screws actually going in just nice, no problem. Uh, as you can see in a minute, a few seconds later maybe. I have to uh, work the last screws a little bit. Fortunately, these are pretty soft metal. And I can kind of pulling it and use my uh, use a finger to push that uh, little mounting plate there to align the screw, and jam the screws in, and finally get it. So with this screws uh, secure, and uh, actually it's always good at this point. The the installation, the replacement is done. Uh, the video may be short, but actually taking me about almost two hours and climbing up and down like four, four, five times, just getting the tools and getting the equipments and stuff. A five minutes, ten minutes drop has turned out to be a pretty long. Uh, really taking a lot of time uh, on the leveling part, and also um, uh, take me a little bit to get used to the height. Uh, I'm really not very comfortable. Uh, working in the on the roof there, so uh, all in all, I think the project's doable. I mean, if you can over overcome the the height factor, <laughs> and also yeah, these kind of project, I really don't expect it's gonna be a drop and replace for five minutes. Uh, there's always gonna be some unexpected things will happen. Uh, I'm glad actually this is this the new experience for me is turned out to be okay. Um, so the job was done. So um, let me know if you guys have any uh, question or just leave in a comment. I try to answer it for you guys. And uh, thanks for watching my video as usual. Uh, please like, share, and uh, if you're not subscribed, please kindly subscribe. I it will actually motivate me to release more interesting video. Uh, so it's all good at this point. Thank you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Not too hard.